This is the story of Gordy the Gorilla and the Giant Moon. Now, it was getting bedtime, nearly bedtime, and Gordy was getting really sleepy. He was yawning a lot. Time to brush your teeth, said Mommy. Yes, it is, said Gordy. I'm so tired. I don't even want to brush my teeth. Well, you can't get out of that, said Mommy. Go on, go brush your teeth. Gordy went upstairs to his bathroom, pulled out his toothbrush, and <laughs> brush, 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 brush. Swish, 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 swish. Spit, 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 spit. Gordy actually loved brushing his teeth because he made a kind of swishy, spitty game out of it. That was nice and fun. And his teeth felt, felt sparkling at the end of it. Now, when Gordy finished, he put his cup and toothbrush back after he had rinsed him and got into his pajamas and got in bed. Daddy came up to put Gordy goodnight. Daddy came up to put Gordy, tuck Gordy in and say goodnight. Now, Gordy, what was the best part of your day? Gordy said, oh, I liked playing, um, carving out of that wood. Daddy had given Gordy a little carving knife and he had a little piece of wood that was flat and he was carving pictures into it. The next day he was going to paint some of it. And with the carved picture and painting, it would look like popping out. Like a 3D picture. That was fun for me too, said Daddy. Now, let's pray and then you can go to sleep. Okay, said Gordy. Daddy prayed, God keep us all safe, together forever. Let nothing separate us. Thank you for Gordy and baby Melody and Mommy. Bless us all and keep us safe together. Let each one of us use our gifts that you've given us for your glory because you are the ones that created us. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this family and your protection. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, said Gordy. Oh, Gordy yawned again. I'm so tired, said Gordy. It's time to sleep. Yes, it is, said Daddy. Go to sleep, you monkey. I'm not a monkey, said Gordy. I'm a gorilla. Oh, yes, I forgot about that one, said Daddy, and gave Gordy a playful little tickle before bed. Off he went. Daddy went downstairs, and Gordy was snuggled into bed. Gordy slept, and in the middle of the night, suddenly he woke up, and he felt like somebody was fl shining a flashlight in his eyes. He woke up confused and startled and looked around to see what was happening. Ah, oh, and then he realized it wasn't a flashlight. It was just the moon. It was the moon shining into his window, and it was so bright. It looked like a flashlight when Gordy was sleeping. Gordy jumped up out of bed and ran to the window and looked. Oh, the moon was beautiful, huge. Gordy remembered. It's the biggest ever. Bigger than any moon. Mm -hmm. Gordy remembered a verse in the Bible that says that the moon would turn to blood. And in Gordy's spirit, he felt that this is going to be sometime, maybe not this year or next year but it would happen when Gordy was still alive. He felt like he would see something horrible happen to the moon. But Gordy was happy to see the moon as it was, and it just reminded Gordy to pray. Dear Lord, help us all be in your perfect will. Help us all do the right things. And Father, keep us safe, because we know some horrible times are coming to the earth as you pour out your judgment and we know many people will be scared and they won't know what to do. But some will turn to you and say, forgive me for I've done wrong and please save me and you'll save them. Gordy thought hard and then he said, Lord, please prepare those people's hearts to come to know you. 
because maybe right now you can put something special in their heart so when the time comes that they get really scared that they'll just run to you. You know who all those people are, Lord. You put something special in their heart now to help them know to come to you and not be scared. The moon was beautiful. The stars were beautiful. And there was a light wind outside. There was a really pretty owl on the top of the trees. And he was hooing. Woohoo! 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 Gordy liked owls. They had such big eyes. And it was funny to watch them turn their heads around. Sometimes it looked like they could just be turning their heads all the way around backwards. Like balls can roll any way you want them to roll. Mm -hmm. Gordy said, thank you, Lord, for your beautiful creation. When Gordy was looking out the window, he also saw a deer. There was a deer in their garden, and it was eating the apples off of their tree. <laughs> Naughty deer, said Gordy. Oh, well, God gave you those apples. God made the apples on the tree. No problem. Yes, you can eat them, too. We all enjoy them. And you can thank God, too, for them. It's no problem with a deer eating apples off the tree. No. Nope. They'll always grow again. Mm hmm And that was Gordy's adventure. He hopped back into bed, snuggled up in a nice warmth, and said, Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, for all the beautiful things you've made. And that was the end.